Welcome back. We are into day two action and let's catch up with Harshit Merchant, the event head, who's also judging the next challenge, the maneuverability test. This is part of the maneuverability track behind us and uh, it's designed to test the car's uh, suspension, handling and steering. The cars start uh, way back over there, you know, and we can see one coming around. They do a slalom and through the phones. Oh, that's, that's quite tough, it's a whole zigzag. That's right, it is, that's yeah. right. Slalom is, is a zigzag maneuver and they have to do that and then turn around. Nemesis from College of Engineering Pune, who are the last year's winners, seem to be having a lot of practice while doing the maneuverability test. The college compound seemed to have provided the perfect practice ground for this team as they went through the motions, getting ready for the big event. Design, 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 over designed, nothing left to chance at all. Uh, we have relied on some uh, tried and tested uh, fundas of last year using a chain drive etc, you know, optimizing the gear ratios. Uh, we are stuck with huge wheels as you can see. So basically our funda is uh, big wheels, good suspension, good steering and make a bulldozer of a vehicle and blow everyone out. Bulldoze the competition, this car is capable of doing that. What we are proud of is we have made everything ourselves. Uh, nothing is made from outside in the sense uh, except for the machines that, uh, that is basic turning operations and milling stuff that we can't access here uh, that we have gotten done from workshops but uh, no part is manufactured from outside ready made or you know uh, outsourced. I am the welding specialist. He is the welder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't need 19 people to do that. This is the rare independent suspension. You won't see it usually in the vehicles, a double wishbone with a chain drive combination. The double wishbone suspension gives us excellent ride comfort and stability so that you don't feel a thing when you sit inside the driver's cockpit. And then the chain drive gives an excellent combination of torque and high speed so that our car can climb the hills as well as race on the racing track. at the end of the track and go back to where they started from doing the zigzag you know slalom back again the same way. In, in the shortest possible time also they're not supposed to hit the cones they get penalized for hitting for hitting them. Team DCE Extreme from Delhi College of Engineering seem to be maxing this test, going through the motions with relative ease and expertise. Go! But on the other hand, problems galore for team number 53, the most wanted from Sri Sairam Engineering College we're not proving to be that lucky in this event. Aren't they glad this is over? Five, four, three, two, one, go! Setting off for the maneuverability test now, Team Pegasus of Modern College of Engineering. Remember, they got the innovative award, but what about maneuverability? How's this team and their vehicle design going to fare in this rugged test? They seem to be holding their own pretty well. Team Crescar in car number 5, representing Crescent Engineering College, struggling with a maneuverability test. Things really haven't improved as far as the hill climb to the maneuverability is concerned. They struggled in the previous test and their car seems to be giving up on them in the maneuverability test as well. 
Well, Team RPM from Punjab Engineering College Chandigarh seem to be doing well, but are underplaying their chances. In the maneuverability test, we the first round went really well. We got a time of 33.3 seconds. But in the second round, uh, we were doing better than the first one, but our drive shaft came out because of which uh, the car came to a standstill in the middle of the round. Actually, we came last time also, and the maneuverability was different last time. So this time, the only motive was to complete it in the minimum time that we could achieve. So that is all the plan that we had. We participated in Bahar 2007 also last year, and we were first in acceleration. This time, we have done hill climb and acceleration test, and performed very well. This is made for this track. Ground clearance, shock cars, steering, everything is designed in that manner. So a lot of calculation is done and we were thinking that it, it will perform very good. Sun seems to be beating down but Team Blitzkrieg from Hindustan College of Engineering are not willing to give up. Going through the maneuverability test, this team's taking their time, not clocking the best timing but their car seems to be holding good. As the impulsors in car number 55 from the University of Petroleum and Energy Studies are one of the last teams to hit the track in this maneuverability test. They know what's the time they need to clock. And they seem to be happy enough with their performance as they ride off into the sunset. At the end of day two, some teams emerged head and shoulders above the rest to clinch the awards for the dynamic tests. The maximum speed award carrying a prize of 1 lakh rupees went to IIT Mumbai, while Srimati Kash Nawale College of Engineering Pune had to settle for second spot. Team IIT Mumbai managed to bag the best acceleration award as well, while SGS ITS Indore had to settle for second spot. NIT Trichy came up with a spectacular performance to win the award for the best hill climb while IIT Mumbai for the first time were relegated to second spot. The most manoeuvrable vehicle turned out to be the one made by Sant Longawal Institute of Engineering and Technology Punjab, while Punjab Engineering College Chandigarh finished second in this category. The track lies empty in anticipation of the endurance race and these are the very mounts that will prove to be the deciding factor for the outcome of the event. We'll bring you all the nail-biting action. So until the engines roar again, this is Supreet signing off from Peterborough. Goodbye.